Fox News just spent the last two weeks screaming at the top of their lungs about the woke mob supposedly canceling the Muppets. Mr. Potato Head, uh, Peppy Le Pew, Lola Bunny. Uh, what else? I'm probably missing something. The Bernstein Bears. Have they been canceled yet? I don't know. I can't keep up. But they've just been screaming about how bad it is to participate and engage in cancel culture. Now, of course, it is the case that none of these examples that they've been citing are actual instances of the woke mob trying to get something canceled. These are all business decisions made by private companies. Uh, nevertheless, they've decided to make this their number one issue, and all of a sudden, they've chosen to completely abandon that. Now, they're the ones who are outraged over something. The Grammys. Because Cardi B performed WAP, and they don't like that. So because she said naughty words, now all of a sudden, their position on cancel culture <laughs> is completely different. They call this great. They say this is fabulous, that this is, this is the stuff that children should be aspiring towards. So at the same time, Tucker, that we have kids that are not learning hard academics anymore in school, right? Forget about mathematics and science. You can trust the science and trust Dr. Fauci. But you have these kids learning about critical race theory. You know, they're learning that they should aspire to people like Cardi B. That you, you see that fundamentally we are seeing the destruction of American values, American principles. And it's terrifying. I think parents should be terrified that this is the direction that our society is heading towards. And again, we are weakening America. America. That's that's really what we should be talking about. This is a weakening of American society. We are setting the stage and it feels like we are looking at corrosion, like we are about to see the end of an empire. America cannot survive. It cannot be right. sustained under these sorts of values and principles. So all that stuff about cancel culture, I'm assuming we're just going to throw that out the window, not going to address it. This network they have been telling us that cancel culture is the worst thing ever. It is literally destroying American society. But all of a sudden, they're bringing on a guest that's saying, mm, actually, this thing that I find offensive personally, that's what's going to destroy society. So maybe we should cancel it. And I don't know if you saw, but on the screen, it said WAP is likely the most vulgar song to ever be performed at the Grammys. Who cares? Who even watches the Grammys? I don't think I've ever seen the Grammys once. I don't know anyone who watches the Grammys. Who cares? Don't watch it. If you find it offensive and you're outraged, perhaps just tune out. No need to cancel it, right? Like, what is the suggestion here? What's the implication? That you want to cancel Cardi B, ban naughty words and sexually explicit songs? from appearing on television? Is that what you want to do? How is that not cancel culture? The thing that you said is literally the worst thing ever. Now, Candace Owens, uh, she says that America cannot survive. It cannot be sustained under these sorts of values and principles. Literally, the American empire could collapse because of a song called Wet Ass Pussy by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, she also says this is a weakening of American society. It feels like we are looking at corrosion, like we are about to see the end of an empire. And you have these kids learning about critical race theory and that they should aspire to people like Cardi B. Uh, when exactly uh, did schools decide to start teaching children about critical race theory? I don't think that they teach that in elementary school. I don't think that kindergarten teachers are telling their students to look up to figures like Cardi B. The song is sexually explicit and very obviously intended for adults. And I mean, I just gotta, I gotta ask Candace Owens. This is someone who is a fan of Kanye West. Kanye West and Lil Pump, both Trump supporters, by the way, they made a song called I Love It, which is also sexually explicit. Did she not want to cancel them? Was that not disgusting? Or would they have to perform it on national television to uh, basically trigger her outrage? And I'm pretty sure, actually, that they have performed this song on television. I don't remember conservatives actually freaking out about this. So, like, why are they selectively outraged about this? What is it about WAP in comparison with, like, all the other sexually explicit songs that makes them want to cancel Cardi B? Now, um, Cardi B actually saw this segment and she responded to it on Twitter by saying, hey, I made it on Fox News. And Candace Owens responded by saying, just at me next time directly. You are a cancer cell to culture. Young black girls are having their minds poisoned by what you are trying to package and sell to them as empowerment. I'm one of the few that has courage to tell you the truth. You should thank me. 
oh, well, how brave of Candace Owens to actually speak up. Like, <laughs> wow, truth teller right there. How bold of you to say that you're offended by WAP. Conservatives are the biggest hypocrites on the planet, and they don't even care how ridiculous they look. They could go from screaming about cancel culture at the top of their fucking lungs, and the minute it becomes convenient for them to flip, they will change their mind like that if they can maybe score some political points or do some propaganda that makes the opposition look bad. I don't honestly even know because I don't think that this segment in particular actually is is bad for Democrats. Like they're not necessarily attacking Democrats. They're literally just explaining that like they don't like this and they're offended by it or that liberal elites are saying that this is female empowerment. I mean, why is this such an issue to conservatives? I mean, Ben Shapiro, of course, decided to read out the lyrics to WAP last year and everyone made fun of him for it. Why do you care about this this much? This is female empowerment. Men sing about their dick and balls all the time, so when women do it, all of a sudden that's bad? Like, who cares? Who cares? I just don't understand why you feel the need to explain how offended you are at something that you could easily just not listen to. But I mean, uh, this is cancel culture. What's next? What other songs are the, uh, is the mob gonna come after? <laughs> I mean, we could, we can say the same things that they said last week. We could turn it around on them, but they don't actually care because this is Fox news and hypocrisy is part of their brand. And, um, I'm sure that the next day, maybe a day after, uh, give it, give it a little bit of time. They'll go right back to criticizing cancel culture until they find something else that offends them to which then they will promptly uh, denounce that and cry about how offended they are. Perhaps if someone like kneels during the national anthem, then they'll go back to wanting to cancel that individual. But, um, this is, uh, the modern right. They can't focus on any substantive political issues because, their ideas are wildly unpopular, so they try to focus on culture war issues. But on the issues that they focus on, like social issues and culture war issues, they can't even remain consistent on those issues. So if you can't even remain consistent on your own key issues, then what is the point of you? You are useless to political discourse. You are the cancer cell in political discourse. You are the individuals who are actually the problem here. So there's nothing left to say. I think that this segment speaks for itself. All of a sudden, Fox News has changed their position on cancel culture. Shocking, I know. Hold up. Wet, 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 wet,